What up YouTube and uh, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, this tutorial will be using After Effects and Photoshop. Uh, I haven't been doing a tutorial in a while so um, the last one I did was the paper paper effect. So I thought I'd like uh, boost it up a bit and show you show you some After Effects and Photoshop work. And uh, if you can see in front of me here, this is not, I, this is not something I've uh, actually actually done. Uh, it's an image I pulled up on the internet of the Iron Man effect. It's like this, this basically this round orb, uh, whatever you want to call it, and it has a few things spinning around, and it looks really high tech. And uh, I wanted to use the same color sequence, etc., and uh, actually animate it. And I'm gonna show you some cool effects that I can you can do and use in After Effects. Um, so basically, we're gonna start off by making one of these. So I'm gonna go to File, New, and to create a new canvas, I'm gonna call it Iron Man, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the width is gonna be two. Uh, 1250 by 1250 sorry if I make a few mistakes I'm rather tired uh, been a rough day and uh, afterwards you wanna click OK and you got a nice background uh, white background and you're gonna change this to black because we're gonna be using um, other colors uh, darker colors uh, I mean sorry lighter colors they're already making mistakes but anyway um, if you don't see um, how to do the black thing all you have to do is switch these two around or make your background color black and hold on control and delete and you'll have a black background there's also another way you can do it is you go up to your um, gradient uh, tool and you right click it uh, and you go down to paint bucket tool and you just use your uh, foreground color to black and you just click it and you're done now afterwards you want to enable your rulers so you want to go up to view make sure snap is uh, turned on rulers is turned on and extra is turned on show uh, you don't really want to show anything else and um, I would right click this and go to percentage so you actually see a 50 here and a 0 here which shows the centers so I want to just drag out from the little ruler and make find my center point after that is done I want to go to my elliptical marquee tool if I got that right and click in the center and as you can see it's not centered and the ratio of it is a bit messed up so you're going to hold on alt and shift and look at that it's all ratioed and everything so i want to bring it out to about yay big and this uh, minus sign showing on my icon as you can see there and i click this so it shows a minus sign and i just want to subtract from this so afterwards you just want to click in the center and then do the same and around about yay big sign man effect was kind of um thin so i want to make it thin so just want to kind of copy that and uh, I need to get the color of it so what I did was I went back here and I got this color which is which is rather good and I brought it back to my effect and same thing once it's um, highlighted or sorry or marked on your page you just create a new layer like I done and um, I want to hold on control and delete again and it'll fill that layer up uh, and then afterwards I want to kind of um, sorry I've done it in white I'm gonna just do that again just set it to the back and you've got that afterwards you can basically start cutting it apart by taking your polygon lasso tool and from the center just click out make a few blocks uh, another one here -ish. and another one here -ish. Um, sorry I don't know who created this other picture but it says at the top here um, by X red head Shanks, well, yeah, that guy. I'll put it in the description. Maybe you guys can find him out. Uh, I don't want to say his name because I can't say it properly. So, um, preps to him, respect. Uh, he did a pretty good background here. Looks pretty good. And um, once I've got this, I just want to duplicate it and make it smaller by holding on Alt and Shift while clicking in the corner and just bringing it in and then rotating it a bit centering it as well use your arrow keys if you want and just make this a bit bigger almost like it's touching but not touching and you want to center these together just to get like a cool uh, rotation so what we're going to do is you want to click this one the first layer and the second layer by holding control and clicking them and you want to go up to your move tool and align I think this vertical centers and horizontal centers as you can see that puts it in the middle so if I had to rotate it'll actually give it a cool nice effect doesn't move anything around and uh, yeah that's pretty good 
So afterwards, um, just save the transformation there. Afterwards, you're gonna make thicker ones in in a in a thicker one. So you're gonna do the same technique I used before, uh, elliptical marquee tool, and bring it out around a thick one. Yeah, not sexual, but anyway, uh, it's around about there. And I wanna create a new layer. And let's make this about uh, a white. Actually, sorry. Um, change that around. I'm gonna show you a cool trick. Just carry on with this color. And I'm gonna start taking this apart because we only need um, a little, a little bit. And let's take that out. Pretty cool, actually. And you wanna drop the opacity. This will make it transparent and also give it like a nice look. And also, the first layer we can actually do that not too light but not too dark. So we can't see it and I want to make this a bit darker just to separate it and I already see we're coming up with some good stuff and um, afterwards you can just take a couple layers duplicate them and make them smaller and just rotate them around as you can see is are done and I just want to rotate this bring it around yeah around about there ish yay big looks a bit good and you can see it overlaps, so we, we do not want overlap, so it just takes us out. Uh, which layer would it be? There you go, second layer. And you can see it's already coming along good, and you want to kind of uh, get an outer one as well of these. Um, so I'm going to make the same technique, I'll speed this up a bit. And we are done. So as you can see, I just speed it up a bit. You basically know the technique. Um, if I'm going too fast, I really apologize. I'm really tired lately. I'm doing a lot of work, and uh, uh, my partner's project, Project Jarvis, is actually up. So you wanna, you guys better check this out. It's pretty good. And I'm actually gonna use one of these things um, for the GUI design. So make sure you check that out. And um, you basically you're gonna be amazed when you see it. Um, now, so we're done with this and basically what you do is you're going to take all of these out including the background and you're going to enable one layer and just save it as a PNG as one uh, label it one and just carry on saving it and then the next one you'll save two and then three and then four and then five and then six you want this individually so you can actually edit them in the um, in After Effects and then um, you're going to be done so now that we are in After Effects now, you want to kind of switch over to this and uh, you're going to go to File, you're going to create a, sorry, you're not File Composition, you're going to create a new composition, um, HD Settings, this is basically the settings I have, I made the duration 30 seconds, we don't really need that, we can, we can make that about 15, half of that, and the black background color is black, yeah, it's kind of like that, it's not doing anything bad for us, and uh, it's going to make this a bit 25, if you want to go in increments of 25, so like 25, 50, 75 and 100, you get a clear image instead of going to like 33.7 or whatever you want to call it. That would give you like a very kind of, uh, uh, how do I say, like it's like pixelated. Yeah, that, that's the right word. And um, what you're going to do to start up this, you're going to import your file. So you go to file, uh, import multiple files. And I have already actually made one. So... Uh, uh, one of those orb things that I showed you just now. I've actually already made one, so we're not going to be using the same one. But I uh, will be offering you the files in there for people who also struggle to make it. So uh, I don't. Wanna, I want to be a nice guy and do that. So it will be in the description a link for it. And uh, you basically sort it with that. I'm gonna take all of this, uh, and I'm gonna bring in my file that I have done. So now, once I've imported them, I just want to kind of bring them into this into the signs of the composition so it'll auto snap onto the model and I'm gonna leave it there do the same see because I save them individually they all come out as is and you just build it up as centers it's very easy just drag and drop I love the drag and drop and yeah and we are done so now that I've zoomed this in you can actually see that this is a different one I use different colors as well and uh, you can actually do that by just dropping the opacity like I showed you before and um, it's got a cool thing going on here and uh, basically our first animation which is going to be which one is it? Uh, the first uh, the outside 
half or quarter, whatever it is, that kind of ball. You want to make this um, big. So you want to start off by, um, as you, you can see, if you just hit this arrow, it'll transform will pop up. And you hit the transform and you want to get the scale until you can't see it. So there, that's done. So you can see the scale is now to three, uh, 307. And you want to make click uh, the timeline button and then just before about us you want to kind of make this short so it just pops in really quick so I'm gonna make it about 1.5 seconds roughly and we want to bring this back down to 100 to so double click it and highlight it click 100 and then you have your second one so basically this is what's gonna happen obviously in real time this is gonna loop uh, let me just bring this loop in uh, how do I do this pro she's still learning after effects thought I'd share this with you and I forgot to tell you in the beginning but uh, yeah uh, let me just preview this for you as you can see does this cool effect and um, it's not doing it in real time right now because I'm running other programs and this i7 is, I got is pretty pretty cool actually I haven't had any problems with it so um, once you've done the first one you want to go do the second one, same thing, scale it up until you can't see it, click the timeline button, and then to about here-ish, see as you can see it shows you where animation is, I'm going to bring it here, just random points, but really quick, just below uh, 2 seconds and 100, so um, now what we have is a pretty cool thing. So now you're going to do that with all the others and uh, I'm just going to skip through it and because you basically know the technique now and I'm going to jump to the next thing so I'll save you time. I know you don't want a long tutorial and you want to kind of learn something really fast and uh, it, it must need to be profitable at the same time. So I'm going to jump to it. So now that this is done, uh, basically what we have here, if I play it, some just a cool effect I have and just kind of blends everything in at the same time. And you can actually see where your bad part is, so like, as you can see this part here is actually uh, going a bit slower, so I'm going to go back to the first one and just decrease the time by putting it somewhere here. So if I play this now, oh it fits perfectly, it's actually better than the last one I tried. So um, now I'm going to show you the cool effect. So what you want to do is you want to go to your first layer as well and just bring it out so you can see it. And we're going to go to rotation. So obviously at the beginning it's going to be rotated zero. So you just want to click that so it just puts this marker at the bottom. And when it comes around here, you know, expand this to about 10 seconds. So around about here-ish. And we can make that about there. And about three seconds you're gonna change the rotation to about 140 you just randomize it all there eh? just honestly you just randomize it all but the thing you need to know is once it goes back to the to the end it needs to end at zero so you have a clean clean um, loop for example if I don't send this back to zero and I show you what happens look at the rotating and it'll just jump to the first thing again See what I mean? So now the first thing you want to do, I mean the last thing you want to do is send it back. So once it comes here-ish, or here, send this back to zero. So basically, once it starts, as it comes in, it starts rotating and end up going back to its original place. So if it loops again, it'll start from here. So it's actually a pretty good thing. And uh, you want to kind of make it to 10 seconds. So just spread this out a bit. Um, you actually can go over here, click this, and actually minus it so it spins the other way as well. And then just make sure you end it with a zero. And once that is done, basically I got our first one. As you can see, I also animated this one. It's the time in the city. Oh, sorry, I just changed the scale. Uh, yeah, so this one you're just going to bring it down back to zero enter and look what happens pretty cool effect and it ends where it started so you're going to just do that for the rest I'm just going to speed through this again
So now that I've done this, um, yeah, as you can see, if I show you this effect, it's, uh, it's much better. Uh, let me just zoom this in for you a bit. And make this about 50. And we're going to play it. As you can see, it has a, it's not playing in real time at the moment. It still goes and renders first. And then the second time you play it, it'll play it smoothly. So um, basically, this is what you, you left with, this cool Iron Man effect. And you actually use this tutorial for much, uh, a lot of things. You can add a cool background I have, and I just, I just wanted to show you how it goes. And um, you can add a cool background, use an intro, add the logo, which is what I'm going to do now, which is my file that I've imported. Um, where are we? Computer, YouTube, YouTube, now Vertex Digital Arts. Now where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There we go. Now, once this is done, I just want to import this to my project. It's like a rather large file, so um, uh, hold on the corner, shift and alt, so it keeps its ratio. I just want to make this pretty small until it fits nicely. Center it there until it looks good, and yeah, that's fine. So after you got your your basic logo in, you want to add in um, some effects to it so it has a nice glow. And what you want to do for that is uh, right click it and go up to where are you? Layer styles. Once layer style is open, you want to go to auto glow um, and you want to auto glow it. Sorry, I just selected the wrong layer. So again, I'm rather tired, but uh, I'm going to do this for you. Auto glow and the outer glow I'm going to add for this. As you can see, this comes the bar comes down over here. So the layer styles comes in, outer glow. Uh, just open this little arrow and the color and just use this marquee tool to that and you want to kind of spread this out more leave the noise at zero okay, opacity at about 75 and the size you want to bump this up around there and the range just drop it down until you get like a good nice effect depends on what you want uh, and what else was it? Okay, yeah, the opacity just bumped this just a bit up to about 80. 5% can make a big difference, trust me. And to animate this now, I don't want to bring it in yet. I want to bring it in somewhere around here. So this is going to come in here. And basically, when this comes in, that's going to pop up. So my final video is actually going to look much better. much better as you can see cool Iron Man effect and uh, a lot of things happening here kind of like how it's happening and uh, just make sure your computer's uh, got a good CPU and, and RAM so this runs all nicely and obviously you can do much more with this effect so um, thank you for watching this tutorial if it, if it wasn't up to scratch like how other tutorials are I'm very sorry I'm rather tired right now it's like 12 o'clock 1 o'clock around there and um, played a lot of sports so I need to pause out so um, thanks for watching our tutorial hope you hope you um, enjoyed this one this these files will be in the description I don't want you if you can't make it I don't want you suffering around it I'd rather give it to you and you can animate it uh, have some fun have some practice um, thanks for watching the tutorial